Hey, welcome to Kev's Can Cave. Welcome back. Welcome to. Glad you're stopping by regardless. Uh, today I want to talk about when you should use a tap, thread tap, compared to when you should use a thread chaser. Thread chaser is definitely a lot less invasive. It'll just go in there and it collects up all the gunk right inside these little slots in here. Yeah, you could make your own, but these are like six for 10 or 11 bucks from Summit Racing. Cost me more, practically more to get them shipped here than they do cost, but anyway, less invasive and uh, more invasive with uh, the actual tap. But anytime I do any of this stuff, I always use plenty of lube, whether it's oil, and I happen to like uh, rapid tap cutting fluid. Stuff really sticks to whatever you're doing. It don't go, it just don't run all over like regular oil. But uh, thread chasing is definitely a lot less evasive. And that's what I had to do on my hub here. I bought these wheel locating pins, CAD plated. I never had wheel locators. They hang the wheel on there. They kind of line things up so you can run your lug bolts in there. And I had some issues with the lug bolts in the past and I've ran a tap through them. But, you know, I started hearing about these, uh, you know, thread chasers and I'm like, well, that's the things we, uh, we used to make or my dad used to make. I remember him making them before when you don't have the right size thread chaser, but anyway, uh, Summit had a 3H24, and that's what I needed, and that's what I bought, and it works great, and uh, I'm not an expert on none of this stuff. I don't really like even messing around with threaded holes. I've, you know, I've used dies before, and I've used thread files, but anytime you're cleaning up, you know, a hole in a 1940 hub, built in 1939 and you always just think man i hope i don't mess this up but anyway it worked out great and let me pan away to that footage for you and i'm just trying to help out somebody who maybe hasn't done it there's plenty of people that haven't done so it. anyway i bought these wheel uh stud locators and they thread it in okay and i'd like to get all the thread inside the hub and it just kind of stopped here and I don't force anything, and that's one thing you shouldn't do, but kind of the rule of thumb is, is the tap should be, unless you're making a new hole, and say you drill a hole in metal and you want to tap some, that's what it taps for, to make new holes, but you can use a tap to run it through here, and I have done that before, but man, this chaser, I just put a little lube down couple of these different channels and uh, run it in there, run it back out. You don't have to run it back out all the way. In fact, if you can get away with doing that, that's even better. But the, the trickiest thing about using these taps to me is uh, getting it started back, you know, once you get it started, and then you pull it back out. Sometimes they don't quite start very well, which this one did, but run it in a little farther each time, pull it back out, clean it up, wipe it off, blow it off, put a little more lube on it, whatever you want to do. I mean, <laughs> there's enough rapid tap here to last me a long time. And I plan on using brake cleaner. In fact, I probably should have took this off and just put it on the workbench and I'll, and I'll eventually do that because I want to check inside here to see how my brake pads are looking anyway. But uh, these things are amazing. And once you can't run it in by hand, I always do things by hand, then you can uh, enlist the help of a socket. Run a little farther, 
back it on out. I don't get in no hurry on this. There ain't no, there ain't no, uh, this ain't no contest trophies. I take my time. Uh, see what you're picking up. You're picking up a lot of gunk and stuff. Maybe some rust in there. But uh, like I said, you don't have to keep taking it in and out like I do. But as long as it keeps going in and out for me uh, easily, I don't feel so bad about doing it. But if you're having a problem getting it started, then certainly just don't take it back out of the hole. Maybe just leave it right here and kind of, you know, wipe her down or something. But let's see if we did anything so far. Uh, let me see here. See if I did any good at all. Looks like I've got it to go a little bit farther. Yeah, see what I mean? And I don't feel so bad about doing it. Yeah, you could have used that tap. But man, these thread chasers, I got them from, like I said, Summit Racing. And uh, there's a little booger it picked up right there. But man, I really like them. And I feel better about, you know, cleaning out these holes like that. I mean, it's not like a, a thread file, you can sit there and and write on your threads and kind of see what you're doing. But when you're doing like stuff like this, I don't know. I just hate. <laughs> I guess my biggest fear is messing something up. But as long as you take your time, use plenty of lube, and run it in and out, uh, I don't think you're gonna have any problem. And like I said, you can even you know look at that. You can tell it's getting better and better when you run it in by hand. But anyway, uh, moral of the story is use a tap if you have to. But if you don't have to, if you can get away with using a thread chaser, it's definitely a lot uh, less wear and tear invasiveness on the female threads inside here. And uh, I would definitely... Uh, Chase them if you can, if you have to, you know, tap them, break clean out the hole, take some brake clean, spray it in there. Uh, but like I said, normally I'd put this on the workbench, but I actually feel better doing it like horizontally than having it lay on the workbench and doing it vertically. But that's just me and probably just from being inexperienced. But it works great and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps you out. Hope it gives you some kind of confidence to to do something like that and uh that's what i'm all about you know just just let you know i'm no expert but if i can do it anybody can do it so uh appreciate y'all uh appreciate likes comments and subscribes you all have been good to me so far appreciate it and uh thank you much and take care bye bye